v1 okay find the slope from from a graph all right so we have a graph remember graphs like uh let me explain a little bit about graphs uh graphs usually look like this like a complete graphs so uh in this quadrant the um well let me explain a little bit uh coordinates are supposed to be uh represented in parentheses okay so this is a coordinate so one number is going to be here and another number is going to be here this is the uh, the x axis all right x and this is the y axis el eje de las x el eje de las y all right so this is y and this is x okay the first number that we're going to place right here is x and the second number is y okay so uh here is going to be like one two and so on like for example 10 right here okay here is going to be one two and let's suppose eight all right so what happens if i go to the left in the in the x axis is going to be negative one and so on negative 10 to the infinite i can uh, say that is it could be longer okay the same if i go down it is going to be negative one negative two uh and so on all right so all the coordinates that are in here so if i say what, what is the coordinate for this point uh, the coordinates both numbers are going to be uh, positive all right so all the coordinates in here are going to be i mean both coordinates are going to be positive so what about this coordinate this coordinate is going to be the uh, the x axis is going to be positive but the y axis is going to be negative all right now the same happens in here here the x-axis is going to be negative and the y-axis is going to be positive and in here both are going to be negative okay you see why yeah because both numbers here are going to be positive so if i tell you okay what is Two and two okay you go two on in the x and two in the y right here this is both positives but if i tell you okay give me five and minus three okay i have to go five one two three four five and minus three one two three so more or less right here okay just an example it is not exact but it is going to be five minus three. So the first one is positive and the second one is negative. Okay, so now that we understand this, in this problem, we are going to use only, only and only this quadrant, this part. So we are not going to use this one. We are not going to use this one and we're not going to use this one only this part of the coordinates only the the quadrant with both where both uh coordinates i mean with both points of the coordinates are positive okay now before solving this i want you to see uh to hit the button learn with an example because i want you to see a formula okay this formula is very important because we're going to find the slope what is the slope or in spanish it is pendiente so it is how high it goes if it goes like almost like this or it goes down or it goes like very very vertical like almost vertical or just like that so what is the slope and the slope has to be a number it could be a whole number or even a fraction but it's going to be a constant okay so this is the formula to find the slope 
So the question is, what is the slope? So change in y divided by the change in x. Okay? So I want you to pay attention to this part. Let me print the screen. I'm going to use a new one. Okay. So the formula says change in y. Uh, I want you to pay attention in this point. So let me use the red one so you can see it better. To these points, okay? I follow the line, and when I see that it crosses one of these points where that I am saying over here, so right here, it, no, no, that's not the one. Uh, here is another one. And if I continue, turn, 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 here's another one. So there are only three points, three exact points. Okay, I can use any other, but because it, it doesn't pass in an, it doesn't pass in an exact point, uh, it's going to be more complicated. So the recommendation is always using where uh, the line crosses exact points where where it crosses like this in this part yeah so if the line crosses in here it is this is not a good spot but if the line crosses in here this is a good spot okay all right so i have three so i am going to use one of these three i mean sorry two of these three uh let's suppose that i am going to use this one and this one okay change in y what is the change in y to know what the change in y is what you need to do is to focus on the y axis this is the y axis remember this is the y axis so uh let's check in the y axis where this point touches the y axis right here in number eight so uh, let's start with a higher number which is eight and then let's let's check this one number five so always when you write the first number write uh, the the minus symbol all right so eight minus five all right okay so this is the change in y divided by the change in x now let's focus on the x axis all right on this axis so let's start in here we go down and it hits the 10 divided i mean sorry minus and five minus five equals okay 8 minus 5 equals 3, 10 minus 5 equals 5. So this is the slope. Pretty easy, right? All right, so let's check our answer. And yeah, 5 minus 2 and 5 minus 0 is 3 fifths. They have different numbers here. Why? Because they use this spot or this dot and this dot. Remember that I used this one, this and this, and it gave me three-fifths. Well, they are using this and this. But what if you want to use uh, this and this, okay? The result is going to be the same. Let's check. So it's 8 minus 2. And 10 minus 0. Okay, so 8 minus 2 equals 6. 10 minus 0 equals 10. We can reduce this. Half of 6 is 3. Half of 10 is 5. You see? 
the result is the same. So you can choose this and this, this and this, this and this. Okay, any of these three three options. Okay, so let's go back to the practice and let's check this one. Let me print the screen. A new paint. All right. So what is the slope here? All right, the slope right here is, well, first we need to check what points can we use. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So it has six, it has a lot. So um, let's say that we're going to use this, and this okay you can choose any of whatever you want okay uh, so remember we are going to use the y-axis first okay uh, so the y-axis it hits the number 80 minus 20 divided by now the x axis 70 minus 40 equals 80 minus 20 60 70 minus 40 30 so we can eliminate both zeros and it's six thirds which it is actually two all right so this is our final answer all right so let's check correct okay i am going to help you do this last one and then you can do it on your own all right let me just print the screen a new document and paste it all right, so what uh, points can I use? This one, this one, and this one. All right, I'm going to use this and this. All right, this and this. Okay, so it is nine minus 5 divided by uh, sorry no, it's right here divided by 2 minus this one right here 1 equals 9 minus 5 equals 4 2 minus 1 equals 1 so this is four okay so the answer is four super okay you can continue doing it and well this is the end of the video see you next time guys bye bye